Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Vlog and today I have a very exciting unboxing for you. A very exciting unboxing for me as well because it's my order from Craftelier. I do want to say right off the bat that I paid for this with my own money. This is not sponsored. I do not get paid. <laughs> nope. This is all my own money that I invested but it's still very exciting because I've been putting items in and out of my cart for weeks now and I've also uh, got some very exciting things some new things some additions to uh, collections I already have such as Nuvo drops you know I know I love my Nuvo drops as well as uh, new distress oxides and <laughs> in addition obviously a ton and ton of paper so I'm going to open this today. Um, I haven't looked at it yet. I only took off my address label because that my home address is of course private. I do know what is in here obviously because I ordered it all myself but it's always very exciting to open. I asked on Instagram who would be interested in seeing a, sorry, a Croftelier haul and uh, already 200 people on Instagram were excited. So that is why I'm doing this video today. But then I couldn't, I felt kind of guilty ordering craft supplies because I don't, I haven't worked during lockdown because restaurants are closed. So I haven't, I couldn't get it over my heart almost to spend money on craft supplies. But then there was a huge sale. They had a sale on Tonic Studios, which is the Nouveau Drops uh, brand. Uh, they had a sale on Ranger, which is the Distress Oxides. They had a sale on Crate Paper, which is all of the papers I got. So yeah, I decided just to go for it because I'm also learning that it's okay to treat yourself every once in a while and that I do not always have to explain why I'm purchasing things because well let's be honest oh my god how exciting is this let's be honest everything is cancelled this year all of the things that we would normally spend money on such as festivals holidays going out for dinner all of that so this is my festival season now okay i'm going to put it on the floor and i will pick uh one by one i am going to do a couple swatches i think because i also have like distress oxide sprays and stuff like that so i do want to try and show you a little bit of that but i will do that at the end that will be easier also for those of you who are just here to watch the video and don't want to see the swatches i'll do the swatches at the end mm -mm, hey guys a quick interruption from present day vivian here uh, i just want to say that i made an amazon list like i did two things i did what i would normally do which is try and find everything i purchased everything i show you in this video on the internet for those of you that cannot access craftelier or that i cannot order from craftelier because i know that it is europe only if i'm not mistaken so i found most of the supplies that i show you here on amazon and I found a lot of the um, like mixed media, pens, and Nuvo drops and everything on Craft Stash as well because Craft Stash doesn't ship those uh, crate paper uh, brands. So I found most of the supplies that I'm showing you here today on these two websites so you can access those. I have links in the de description box down below. I always try to do that. I always try to do that. And these are affiliate links. So if you decide to get some of these items from, let's say Amazon, I would be eternally grateful if you would use my link. Simply click it. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but I might get a small commission because I guided you to the site. Second thing I did is again on Amazon, I have like one of those Amazon, they call them influencer associate pages. I hate the word influencer, but I also made a um, an Amazon shopping list where I again put nearly everything I found um, all in the same shopping list. So that might be easier to access than scrolling through all of the links I will have down below. So definitely check those out if you are interested in getting something yourself. It took me a lot of work, but I'm happy to do it if you um, like using them. Thank you! Okay, so first thing I'm grabbing is obviously what I've already shared you, Distress Oxide Spray. Now, um, this color is called Spun Sugar. It's new for me, I've never had Distress Oxide Sprays. I do have a lot of other sprays um, that I love using. And Spun Sugar, let's be honest, how cute, how pretty is this color? I'm very excited for that. I picked up another spray. It's wrapped with a lot of plastic, which is a bit sad, but 
This color is called Broken China. And um, I also have ink pads that you may have seen me use. I also purchased some new colors that I am very excited to show you. I purchased Twisted Citron because I felt like I needed some sort of a bright green in my collection. I purchased Tea Dye, which will be great for using on uh, something that might look, that I might want to look more vintage. It's like a vintage looking color that I really, really love. And I purchased this one, Seedless, Seedless Preserves. So it's a bright purple. Because the colors I have so far are very often um, more light like a more pastel like color so i really wanted to get some brighter colors except for that one of course so seedless preserves and twisted citron and there we go and then i'm just grabbing from the top of the box but i'll grab something that you might like to see it's a die cut set from pink paisley or Paige evans horizons i'm not going to open all of them but it's basically, uh, yeah, I can see some tags, a lot of little butterflies, which is always cute. And the reason why I got this pack is because I already have the 12 by 12 paper pad and I can never get my hands on like pink paisley die cuts. They're always sold out super fast, especially because they have a lot of flowers. This one doesn't have a lot of flowers, but it does have other cute elements. So I was excited to see that this was still in stock. Then I bought more die cuts. And this is another collection that is new to me, actually. It's Amy Tangerine. I think it's called Picnic in the Park, but I have some more elements from this line that we will see uh, soon. <laughs> this one includes glitter pieces, which I think is quite adorable. I've never owned anything from Amy Tangerine before, but I have to admit, I fell in love with these colors. It's a lot more bright than what I'd normally use, but cute. And it's very summery. So purchased these stickers from the same collection definitely looks like a picnic in the park they've moved up a bit these are puffy stickers a little um a little note card for you with a lollipop which is fun it's a little kitty cat this time croft lover very adorable um oh yeah i purchased two i purchased two of the die cut packs so this is the same pack i got it twice and the reason why i like getting a lot of things from the same collection is because obviously they go together pretty well and because i don't know it's for me in Europe, it's always pretty difficult to get these American brands. It's quite difficult to get your hands on something like this. So when there are like die cuts available, I am definitely going to get them. This one has a lot of frames again as well. It's definitely popular to have frames in there. A lot of square uh, dies. I don't know if I like that, but you know, we'll see. And then this is the paper pad that goes with these. Why does it not have a brand? Yeah, Picnic in the Park. There we go. So this is a little overview. I'll flip you through the paper pad. As I said, this these colors are quite bright for me. I wouldn't normally work with like these bright purples, but I think it will be a nice change for me. Oh, damn. Shoot. Oh, this paper is slightly damaged. Like from the front, you cannot really see it, but the bottom, it has a slight dent. Mm. It's okay, I've had it before. But yeah, that's that's too bad. I'll try to flatten that somehow.
yeah, second half went a bit faster because it's 24 different sheets two times. So that's why I went through second half a bit faster. And this is the, one of those cut apart sheets. Mm -mm. One of those cut apart sheets. I hope you can see that all right. Less Monday, more summer shine bright. Favorite, a perfect day in every way. Woohoo, hooray. Big day, a really great day. Life is good. So this is definitely very good for memory keeping, but I have to admit there's more pastels in there than I expected, such as this gorgeous pink. That makes me happy because it's a bit daunting for me to work with such bright colors. Um, so it's good that I can combine it with some pastels as well. So we have that. I'm gonna move this up. I don't know where to put it. I'll move that aside. Then, Something else I got, oh, this is opened, is I wanted to get more and different fine liners because I need those. I wanna do more lettering, I wanna do more writing. Uh, so I decided to get a couple different ones. These are um, Pin Posca, if I remember correctly. Pin Posca Uni Pins. I'll swatch them at the end of, as well. So, uh, next thing I got, <laughs> is once again very exciting. Sadly, wrapped, everything's wrapped in plastic. Oh, this one is damaged. I've got two new colors of hair drops. It's always good. Two glittery new hair drops this time. Oh, two, two glittery colors. I, I do have some glitter. I have like gold glitter, but not pink. So I'm very happy. This one is called Sherbet. Sherbet Shimmer, and this one is called Summer Sunrise. This one's so pretty. I like both of them, obviously, but I'll show you um, the drops at the end of this video. Something else I'm very excited to get is Watercolor Confections Pastel Dreams. So it's a watercolor pan set by the brand Prima Marketing. Prima Marketing, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a lot, it is a lot smaller than I expected from the pictures, but I'm sure I would love working with this because one of the things I try to, to learn in this lockdown is watercoloring, so. And even before I did watercoloring, I already had my eyes on this because funny enough, I watched a video of Amy Tangerine, she has a YouTube channel, <laughs> uh, and she used this set if I remember, I don't know if it was in a video or if she showed a background that had these colors and I was already in love then <laughs> because she made a beautiful background with watercolors. Okay, so I'm not gonna unwrap all of these. I'm also not going to swatch these if that's okay with you because I'd rather uh, take my time and not, yeah, I'd rather take my time and I've already seen videos of swatching these online, so I'm going to skip the watercolor also because it would probably be very long. But basically it's 12 of these beautiful little pans <laughs> in a beautiful little box. Quite like that. Beautiful wa watercolors and a little uh, how would you like, swatch card. So I'm going to take my time for that. You'll probably see it in a video or two. Ah, I'm super excited. I'll show you up close um, the, the box. <laughs> and this little uh, tin really feels like a gift to myself. I of course already have that. Uh, <clears throat> the Arteza pen the big pan i've actually been using that quite a lot even though it still looks relatively okay <laughs> but i'm very excited to combine that with the little pastel dreams set more pens in this little ziploc baggie more pens i didn't get everything every pen i wanted because many of them were sold out but i will have to look for another store i got a faber castell broad pen in pastel blue Fun. I got a Staedtler Pigment Liner 0.2. This one is, it doesn't say. This one is a Staedtler Pigment Liner 0.7. Waterproof on paper, Brit. 
So, <clears throat> I'll swatch these at the end as well. There's so many exciting things. Okay, I'm gonna save this one for last because that's definitely my favorite part. I also, yeah, I have it on my lap. <laughs> um, I also got some stickers from the same uh, collection. Again, Amy Tangerine Picnic in the Park. These, the, these, <laughs> these also have a shimmer glitter effect. Okay, wait. Almost done already. I have a bunch of papers, 12 by 12 papers. I have some more stickers actually this time from again Amy Tangerine. <laughs> um, um, these are foam phrase stickers again. Picnic in the park, although it doesn't say so here, but they have a lot of like birthday things. It says, uh, hooray, congratulations, the good life also. Thank you, make today count. So it's a little bit of a combination of party and um, some other phrases and sentences. And <clears throat> as you can see, it's like, foam stickers wow these smell really bad though <laughs> wow <laughs> took them out of the packaging so that i could show them up close but wow these smell really really bad <laughs> they really smell like plastic foam so i hope that when you use them on a project or on a meal they smell a little bit less <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't like someone opening an envelope and then immediately smelling that plasticky smell mm, I'm going to show you the papers as well don't worry I just want to show you the rest first I also got these there I actually thought they had a pink border because they looked that way on the picture but it was actually a pink background but that's fine that's fine um the reason why I got these is because I, they're 12 by 12 so obviously uh, an entire paper pad, entire 12 by 12 papers would uh, fit in here uh, perfectly. Um, but the reason why I got these is because I always love keeping certain things together. So I would keep the papers from a certain collection together with the stickers and the die cuts and I have everything in one. Okay, so that's why I got this so that I could put the Picnic in the Park stuff in here. And I also like when I'm working on a certain project and I have like picked stuff, I've matched stuff together. I also like using um, these uh, pockets. So I thought I would get three for now because I have quite a few uses for these. But I might actually get more because they're very affordable. They're less than a euro and they'll come in really handy for keeping everything together. So I'm quite happy with that. And then, before I show you the paper and another paper pad I've had on my lap, <laughs> I'm going to show you this. This is quite big, quite heavy. Um, this is from Tonic Studios again. So that is, uh, uh, again, <laughs> discounted, which I quite like. And this is a glass cutting mat. This is a glass media cutting mat. <laughs> There we go. Um, marked for crofters, most popular sizes, easy clean surface, great for use with hot glue gun, blah, blah, blah. Fine grid for accurate scrapbooking and crafting. Fine grid, blah, blah, blah. Anywho, I didn't get this for cutting specifically, although obviously I could very well use it for cutting. I got this for mixed media because I've always used, uh, again, that's this one is also from Tonic Studios. I've been using this mat this one uh, for a long time it's an easy clean mat so you can do everything you want on top of here and you can easily clean it but as you can see it's kind of hard <laughs> it's best life it's starting to bleed through a little bit and that is why I thought I would get I would upgrade to a glass media mat I'm very scared of breaking this one time but <sighs> what I could do is obviously press my distress oxides or anything directly onto the mat use it as i please and easily clean afterwards so that's why i was excited to get this 
Who is drilling? Why now? That's the last thing I got apart from the papers. Um, so I got these, this whole pack of papers, and I got this, which is my favorite part. This is another collection. I didn't get anything else from it. No stickers, no die cuts, because everything was sold out. This is Dear Lizzie, She's Magic. I mean, not everything was sold out, but I also chose not to get more because I thought I could mesh this quite nicely with other things. Okay, sorry for the noise. Nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. As I said, this is Dear Lizzie, She's Magic. It's a, uh, a 12 by 12 paper pad with uh, iridescent accents. <laughs> I'm not usually a fan of iridescent, but this paper pad is so gorgeous and you'll quickly see why I love it. Okay, I would have, I have to admit, it's like, again, same as last paper pad. I think it's 40, 48 sheets, and then it's like 24 different designs. I would have also liked it if half of the designs had iridescent accents, the other half did not. But I have to admit, the accents are um, quite subtle. Like here, this page has some accents here, and here, it's, it's very subtle, and not all of the pages do have accents. I think you will know this one has some accents. I think you will know what my favorite page is. This one. <laughs> Although it would have been cute without the accents as well. And actually the reason why I wanted this collection is because of these flowers. Because someone used them in their stories on Instagram. I asked her, hey, would you mind telling me what collection this is? Because I absolutely adore it. She said it's dear Lizzie. Uh, she's magic and sadly Croft Lear didn't have any of the die cuts anymore so would have loved to get the die cuts couldn't get them decided to go for the paper pad instead and then obviously tickets wonderful very nice oh little pens so this is perfect again it has a lot of darker um, more bright colors but this seems a lot more my style than the picnic in the park but I'm not saying that I don't like picnic in the park anymore. Obviously, I purchased it for a reason because it's also good to get out of that comfort zone. Very nice. So that is mm, probably one of my favorite things I bought. Actually, no, I have to admit all of the things I bought, ex except for maybe the Amy Tangerine picnic in the park because that was something I added in the last week. But all of the other things I bought, I already had in my wish list in my cart for at least a month so these are all things that i really really wanted to get so picking a favorite is not really possible but paper pads make me very happy lastly i will show you the papers the 12 by 12 papers and then we're going to swatch what i showed you this is pink paisley truly grateful i again couldn't get the Pink Paisley, like Paige Evans, she always does those uh, die cut packs with flowers. So it's just the flowers from the collection. They're always sold out within a day. <laughs> so I couldn't get that. So I decided to get the pretty paper instead. This is Amy Tangerine Picnic in the Park. Duh, love that. This is the same. This is, um, again, She's Magic from Julia Lizzie, but this has no foiled accents. So I did get the pretty paper without the foiling. And I like it both ways, but without foiling is a lot calmer. So I'll get good use out of both of them. Also, how cute would these be for like address labels? So we got that one. I got another Picnic in the Park one. Cute, right? Cute, cute, cute. This one couldn't resist. Dear Lizzie, she's magic. Little teacups and teapots. Obviously, I had to get one of these. The beautiful flowers. Kind of sad. Did I only get one? I think I did. Mm -hmm. That would be sad. I would have loved to get two. I only got one. That is too bad. So beautiful. But the reason why I only got one is obviously because I already had the paper pad. This one with all of the pretty images cut apart. This is very perfect. It's a, an, a male themed one. I don't think this was in the paper pad. So I'm sad I didn't get more, but it's a male themed one. Absolutely perfect. This is from Paige Evans Bloom Street. 
I didn't get anything else from that because it, everything is sold out, but it has flowers, so it's me. The back side I do not like, but the front, very beautiful. Again, Bloom Street, Paige Evans, how perfect are these kind of parts, literally. Wild flowers, beautiful. Backside, again, not my style, but cute. This is also from Bloom Street, it's very different in style. It has butterflies. And this is the back. And then again, Bloom Street, beautiful florals. And I got this one twice. This is the back. And then obviously the front is my fave. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's it for today's um, unboxing. I'm now going to do the swatches. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Please don't give it a thumbs down. <laughs> that always makes me a bit sad. But um, yeah, I already said it in the beginning. I purchased all of this with my own money. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. That's basically it. I purchased all of this with my own money. It's not sponsored. Um, and I do, I try to link everything down below. Goodbye.